Hey guys, Quiv the Lazy Geek here and today we're going to take the Sunflower Galaxy image that we processed together uh, last time and we're going to feed it to an application called Topaz Denoise and Topaz Denoise has been like kind of looked at for the last few years uh, in the astrophotography community because they, it's a software that achieves impressive results for noise reduction on general um, daytime or even night, nighttime kind of normal photography and people have been trying it with astrophotography and I've been curious about how well it works as well on my own pictures uh, being that I'm in a, a pretty bad use case of being in Tokyo so I have a lot of noise in my picture even when you know I stack uh, images for a long exposure time in total. So uh, Topaz Denoise, here we can see on the web page uh, here that you know it's noise reduction that completely rewrites the rules. It's amazing detail quality or uh, what else in my opinion irreplaceable. And so you know I, I've been wondering about it and so let's try it. Let's see what it actually uh, gives us. So I can actually launch uh, Topaz Denoise since I've um, I've actually purchased it um, for you know normal photography and we can see that it starts with a little wizard there um, which we're gonna promptly ignore and close and we can just open an image. Now the uh, first thing I did is actually save the image that we open, um, obtained last time as a TIFF file so I went to uh, in Pixisite file uh, save as and then I'm just going to yeah, call it Topaz Denoise 2 and 16-bit integer uh, TIFF file. That's what I did. I think it would work with 32-bit as well, but 16-bit should, should be enough. And I know that it's going to work. So let me drag and drop that image. So exactly the same image that we processed last time. And we can have a look at how the uh, denoise parameters are working. So. Um, hopefully this time we can see the noise a bit better. I'm using a different screen capture program, but we can see that with the denoise AI uh, algorithm here, I'm honestly not getting too good results. You can see the color patterns at the top here. They're kind of being considered by uh, the AI here as being part of the signal rather than noise that needs to be kind of smoothed out. So let's try to like, uh, remove a bit more noise to up the ante and what I get immediately is that the background is becoming very 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 smooth which you know is not a bad thing but at the same time some of uh, of my stars might be yeah they're getting a bit into a weird shape here and that the thing here, the, the noise that I'm getting, that chromatic noise that I'm getting here, is not getting any better. So at this, uh, in this, at this stage, I'm not super enthusiastic about it. I can try to recover some details, but it's not going to add more noise reduction. And if I, I try to increase like the noise reduction even more, it still doesn't seem to take care of those details. Although to be fair, this uh, particular dark streak there, the, the dark line that's in front of the sunflower galaxy is being reduced quite well. So it's still a pretty decent result. Um, and let me try to save as, you know, just so we have a point of comparison and we're gonna, gonna call, it, um, call it denoise AI. And one of the things, by the way, when saving this, I think by default it uses the Pro Photo RGB color profile, which is fine. But if you try to upload that directly into uh, Facebook or some other place, typically you'll see that you've lost some colors. I mean, not lost, but more like Facebook is not able to read them. At least that happened to me. So you want to make sure you select sRGB here, which is inferior, uh, technically speaking, but it works better for compat compatibility. Uh, purposes. So let's save that. And now I'm, I could just use the same file. I just want to make sure that I'm, I'm starting from scratch again. Uh, we're going to reopen the image and this time we're going to not use Denoise AI, but we are going to use AI Clear. And AI Clear, we can, uh, so it, my first impression is not so hot, like I'm, I'm getting a lot of grain here 
being uh, enhanced, which is not something that we want. We want the grain to actually kind of disappear. So let's try to change this remove noise to uh, medium. And wow, that's actually much better. Um, yeah, it's not bad at all. It kind of spreads out that chromatic noise that we had at the top uh, without losing too much details in the galaxy proper. So this is actually, I'm, I, don't, I don't mind this result. This is not a bad result. Uh, the background is kind of smoothed out. And uh, let's see, maybe, you know, what we should try to do is save this image and then and then go through the denoise AI after that. Uh, let me try to see if, I, if what happens if I put it too high. High is a bit too strong, it feels to me, like we're really losing uh, a bit too much detail with uh, high here, as far as I can tell. Let's try high with a bit of recovered details here. I don't like it. So uh, let's go for medium. Still, I really like this picture. I think it's an enhancement over uh, the original. So I'm going to save as, and we're going to call it AI Clear. And uh, now that it's, it's saved, I'm going to close this image. And I'm going to open the AI Clear image that we just generated and see what it can what can happen in denoise ai so my first reaction is this is a bit too strong because we've already removed some noise we're going to be much more conservative about it i don't really like it okay so that's that's not quite working kind of the way that i hoped so i'm just going to try auto you know auto settings see what that gives us but no it's uh, it's kind of like enhancing noise in some areas of the picture. I don't know if this is real noise, real images. So this this is not working well. But still, we can try to compare what we had in Topaz Denoise to what we get in uh, PixInsight. So let me reopen PixInsight here and we're gonna open up the AI Clear one, the one I really liked. And we can put those two side by side and let me zoom in because I, I, I really like actually what I'm getting in terms of the denoised image. I can kind of see some artifacts, but it, it's, it's better than the non-denoised uh, uh, one that I had on the left here. So I, I almost want to, I mean, the black streaks there, the black lanes in front of the galaxy, they're very visible, they're not noisy. The area around, of the, around the galaxy is much smoother. The colors at the, at the back are much smoother and the details of the galaxy they might be slightly smeared, but unless you're zooming in, you're not going to notice that. So if I go back to the normal level of zoom, uh, at first sight, I'd say that the one on the right is better. And so it almost makes me want, you know, to, uh, to go in there and try to even like, you know, play with the colors, you know, with the curves. So I could go in there and open up uh, the curves transformation and maybe do a slight contrast enhancement to uh, to see what that gives and we could also increase the saturation a tiny bit and what does the chroma do on this no it's a bit too much but still like i i get the feeling that this is the sunflower galaxy right uh just by doing that and so i think actually with these curves it doesn't really look bad at all uh, i think it's uh a great enhancement on that image and I don't think it would be possible without the topaz denoise kind of processing going on before. So let me apply that uh, to the image and we could try to apply uh, the same stretch to my original email in image so that we can compare apples to apples and and yes, again, I get the feeling that the image on the left is much noisier than the image on the right, even though the image of the, on the right seems to have some artifacts. So it might go down in the end to, you know, um, 
each person's preference. But still, I can see Topaz, Topaz Denoise as being a decent tool to, to play with uh, overall. Um, and I, I really like this, uh, this picture. It feels like it pops out more if I'm zoomed out and if I'm not like pixel peeping. When you're pixel peeping, like the, I think the unnaturalness of the noise reduction becomes a bit more obvious. But otherwise, uh, on, on first you know, impression, I really think it, uh, it looks uh, quite good. And uh, yeah, I think that's, uh, that's pretty much it for this comparison with uh, Topaz de Noise. I'm, I'm quite, quite impressed actually. And uh, I think I'm gonna use it a bit more in the future or maybe even process back some old images uh, using Topaz de Noise. So, you know, your mileage may vary, but I hope this video has been useful to you. If it has been, please click like, please also subscribe and don't forget to look up at the stars whenever you can. See you next time.